Hymn number 219, Immaculate Mary, number 219. Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. In and your glory proclaim on earth we your children invoke your fair name Ave, Ave, Ave Maria Ave, Ave Maria We pray church upon earth, and bless holy Mary, the land of above. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Sancta Pares, Felix Apuerberare, Vicelum Terram, Queregis, In se David par meum verbum bonum, digo ego per mea regis. Gloria patri et filio et spiritu di sancto, sicur erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum amen. Salve sancta pares, felix apuerberare ege, vicelum terra. Secula, secula, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today's Mass is being offered for Reverend Hubert E. Desmond. And for Reverend Henry G. Chambers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, 
through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. 
nations be glad and exult because you rule the people in equity the nations on the earth your God may God bless us in his mercy may the peoples praise you A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord.
Happy New Year, everyone. <clears throat> it's good to see all of you. Today we celebrate Mary, the mother of God. And that title for Mary was fully established in the year 431. And that was back when the church had a big council. There was the Council of Ephesus. And <clears throat> there was this discussion about the two natures of Christ, about how God, how Christ had human nature and divine nature. Jesus truly was one of us. And he is Emmanuel, God with us. But at the same time, he is also truly the son of man. And he really did become our brother. He shared in life fully with us. Most humans have a mom, right? This is a true thing we can all say. We all have a mother. Everyone, John, you have a mother? Everybody, right, in this room has a mother? And that is a key to being a human. That is one of the defining characteristics. So if Jesus is fully human, then that means that he had a mom. And his mother's name is Mary. And if Jesus is at the same time fully God, then that means that Mary is the mother of God, which is an amazing title for Mary. Before the Council of Ephesus, there was a lot of debating amongst different groups and disagreement. And there wasn't unity in the church. <clears throat> and after that council, there was unity and there was agreement on what these things meant. I remember a story about when I was a kid growing up. Some of the kids that I knew would say, oh, the Catholic faith is not worth it for me. Um, <clears throat> you know, if I was born in China, my family would have been Buddhist. You know, if I was born in the Middle East, then my family would be Muslim. And I just happen to follow that. You know, could have been born of a Jewish family and raised in Jewish religion. So some people thought it didn't make a difference. You know, it's all the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Whatever. Jesus is not special in that way. The, the Catholic Church is not unique in that way. That's what some people said. But today we have a different experience, of course. We see that the world has become smaller in our time. We're able to know different areas of the world better and we can see more wars that are occurring in our world today. It's easy to see those things happening now. And if we were born in a place where people didn't believe in Jesus, 
and people are not, they don't tend to be good with love. And they have problems with forgiving each other in those parts of the world. And with respecting each other, we see that too. It is easy, if you don't believe in Jesus, to think that another person doesn't have value or worth. But we know that the, from the moment that Jesus was born, he showed us that all human life is sacred. That it is the most valuable thing in every human person, in every creation, that they have that dignity. And Jesus being born of the Virgin Mary helps us to see how to live, how to value each other and our great worth. When we understand Mary as the mother of God, that is the key to peace in the world. One example of how Christ and how Mary, the mother of Christ, can help to bring peace is that when we think about women in general, we see all places that follow Christ in the world have a greater respect for women. They treat women better. That's a true thing. Before Christ, it wasn't that way, especially for women and especially in the Muslim world, it is it's still a very challenging situation for women. And even in the Jewish world, truthfully. Women don't have a lot of options. They can't do whatever they want. There's a lot of strict rules in that culture. And in China, in Japan, we see the same thing. It's not a fun place to live. But with Jesus, it's a different story. We see more peace. We see warmth. We see collaboration and cooperation and prosperity. We see more human flourishing and development. And more education. Even more scientific advancement. We need to cherish our faith. We need to understand that Mary, the great mother of God, will give us an understanding of her son Jesus, how he was fully God and is fully man. That Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary and in that, heaven and earth are wed. And that is how we have the opportunity for peace in our world. Now let us pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that the Holy Spirit may help us to recognize the gift of different charisms within the Christian community and to discover the richness of different traditions and rituals in the Catholic Church, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, Bishop Sean, and all the church leaders, that they continue to foster and promote the values of family life modeled by the examples of the Holy Family in our society. We pray to the Lord. For our political leaders, that they open their hearts and minds to God's loving will to build a culture of life beginning with natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are away from families during the holiday season, especially the soldiers on active duty, pray to the Lord. For those who are being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord for world peace. We pray to the Lord and for the repose of the souls of the faithfully departed. We pray to the Lord and we remember <clears throat> Reverend Hubert E. Desmond and Reverend Henry G. Chambers for whom this Mass is being celebrated, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we acknowledge our weakness and ask for the intercession of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the perfect prayer of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God, through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accepts the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let, them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, 
worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. The Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, with Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Can you stay? Vitalis peccata mundi. Miserere. Can you say, Vitalis peccata mundi, Vitalis God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Et 
Sanctissima Dulcissima Dulcis Virga Maria Mater Amata In Demerata Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary mother of your son, and mother of the church, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to en enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in peace, Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Just to let you know, I will be going on retreat soon. This Wednesday, I'll be leaving to go on retreat. So please pray for me. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hymn number 203, Hail Holy Queen enthroned above, number 203, and we will sing verses 1, 2, and 6. Blessed Jesus Christ. 